Hello! Welcome to Dungeon Monkey version 1. Um, this is going to be a short video, I think, but we're going to talk a bit about this game because it's important. Um, we've been doing a lot of the 7-day roguelikes. We will continue to do a lot of 7-day roguelikes. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of them to get through when we take into account all the years that it was done. Uh, the 7-day roguelike challenge officially began in 2005, and we've been kind of looking at things sequentially. Uh, but it turns out, and with further investigations, I mentioned there's a there's a challenge, an entire challenge we missed between 2006 and 2007. There's also seven-day roguelikes that were pre-challenge, i.e. they came about before the 2005 seven-day roguelike challenge. They were not necessarily a part of any challenge, but they were seven-day roguelikes. The very first officially recognized seven-day roguelike is Dungeon Monkey. Uh, it came about in 2003 as a piece of performance art created by Joseph Hewitt. Um, we're going to read through his little text file he accompanied it with here because it's going to give us a lot of information. But I need to say that we've, we've previously, oh, incidentally, Joseph Hewitt was responsible for King of Moyup, which we've played on this channel briefly. It wasn't one of our favorites, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, it was interesting. Um, we've previously credited, I believe, Jeff Late with uh, the idea of the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge because I believe it was he who first said, hey, we should all do the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge in th 2005. But because this was the first publicly recognized, at least within the forums and the, you know, the used net groups at the time, uh, within that community, the first formally recognized Seven Day Roguelike, uh, Joseph Hewitt gets the credit for, for kind of getting the ball rolling by planting the seed. I want to read this little readme, and then we're going to dive in for, for what I assume will be quite a short video. I've played it a bit, but we'll nonetheless dive in in a second. Dungeon Monkey was created over seven days. I guess that it took maybe ten hours of work. I don't think this is a real game. It's more like an educational project, or perhaps performance art. This is a roguelike with no ambition. It has no advanced features, no monumental innovations, and in fact, nothing worthwhile or interesting whatsoever. I kind of disagree. It's got some cute graphics anyway. It is meant to be a game completed to that point at which interesting things may now be added. It has rudimentary playability, but nothing else. It has the promise of many interesting things, but no actual interesting things included. So what's the point? I wanted to see how much of a roguelike skeleton could be built in just one week. I'm fairly pleased with those results. I also wanted to get some more experience with SDL and experiment with ways of organizing a roguelike program. Um, he's got some other projects he's working on, Dead Cold being one. He says he thinks it'll... Uh, benefit from the uh, work he's done here. Uh, and it might be used as a starting project for, or starting point for other roguelike projects and experiments of his. Uh, hoping other people can learn from it. Um, and that's about it. That's really what we wanted to talk about. But that is the, the gist of it. This is a bare bones roguelike with, with rudimentary gameplay. Let's experiment. It does have controls here. Use the number pad to move. It looks like 5 is not used according to his thing. O to open door. C to close door. G to get item. D to drop item, W to wear or wield, and use stairs or fountain is the greater than sign. It's got fountains, that's something innovative. Experience zero, we have a club leather armor. 14 hit points, let's head east. That looks like, a, I'm guessing, a goblin? Can we can we learn anything about this? Probably not, it's rudimentary. Let's just go hack at it by bumping to attack. I know that works. Let's see here. We attack it, it evaded, it attacks us, we evaded. Likewise, we attack it, we get it for 7 hit points, we killed it. And we have 10 experience points. Out of how many, I don't know, but we got 10. That looks like a scary-ass monster. What the fuck do you think that is? Let's ignore it for now. See if we can find a better weapon. Uh, is there a search? S? I'm pressing S randomly. There's no search. As far as I know. Let's go kill the pink thing now. <laughs> it's a Nasher. It's dead. We are kicking ass in this game, guys. I think, I think an orc. All right, man, we are really kicking ass. Doing better than I did in my test play. <laughs> All right. Holding down a key like no one should. Let me put this, let me put this down as well. I don't think we need the mouse, so I'm going to move it away. Ish. I'm going to keep the, uh, I'm going to set up my keyboard like a smart person should. Okay. Another orc. Taking some damage, finally. I don't like that. All right, we killed him. We leveled up. Look at that. We have 21 hit points. 
Experience level two. Looks like there's a door there. We'll try closing that in a minute if we survive this fight. Which I obviously hope we do. Although we are taking some damage again. God damn it. Alright, let's just see if this works. Just for the record. See, yeah, that works. Oh, oh. Alright, let's get this. A dagger. I mean, do we think that's better than a club? Let's try I for inventory? No. How do you wield shit? W, wield. We can wield a dagger. We just don't know if it's better or worse. It doesn't look like we heal in any way either. Unless we find maybe a potion if we're lucky. Oh. You have to open doors. You can't just bump into them. Oh, fuck me. We haven't found a staircase. We have no way to go to get out of here unless there happens to be a staircase at the end of this corridor. If not, this is the end of our game. See. Oh, I was hoping I could... Oh, fuck it. I don't know if I'm... I think I'm doing less damage than I was doing before, but I can't dare take a moment to change weapons. Now we can. Hey, we leveled up, thank God. Let's go back to our club. I don't think we're going to survive this, but we'll try. We might have got another one. We got that one. It's not impossible. Holy crap, guys. Was that all of them? Let's go over here first. <laughs> There's the stairs down. Is it the height of stupidity to go back and look? Of course it is. Are we going to do it? Yeah. Let's go look this way first. There's nothing there. Maybe that was all of them. Let's go in here. What is that? Is it a person? Yes, it is. Maybe a minotaur? An Etten or something? I don't know what that is. A minotaur? Beast man. I'd like to see the next level. That'd be really cool. Um, but I don't think we're going to be playing like consecutive games of this because by his own admission, it's a rough game, right? We got a mace, though. That's got to be better than a club. But that's one of the rudiments we're talking about. You can't have... There's no... Uh, discerning uh, factor for what's a better weapon than another. <clears throat> Other than anecdotal when you watch and you're like, oh, I did 10 damage there instead of 5. Clearly the mace is better. Alright, guys. Dungeon Monkey heading for victory. Hey, Gary. I mean, I like the little tile set. I do. It's cute. Reminds me of Sword of Fargo on the Commodore 64. It looks like a new armor. Let's get. A cotton shirt. I mean, doesn't... Doesn't it stand a reason the leather armor is better? I don't know, man. Again, with no way to tell. But then again, we found this. And we started with leather. It can't be... Can't be... I'm not going to put it on. There's no way a cotton shirt is better than leather armor. That would be drunk talk. Here's the way onward. We're not going over there. Holy shit. Oh, we got one of them coming at us. If we can get them out one at a time, it's not so bad. I wonder if there's any health potions. Son of a bitch, we're down to what? Five hit points. That's it. And apparently as soon as you die, it dumps you out. <laughs> oh, we're back to this. Well, here's my recording studio again, guys. Um, we had to go full screen because that game runs in full screen. <clears throat> All right, well, you know, that was Dungeon Monkey by Joseph Hewitt uh, from 2003. I will include a link... Actually, I will not include a link to where you can get it online because I haven't found it online. I found it in the Archive RL, which is a project run by a gentleman named Akeley who is uh, trying to consolidate every free roguelike in the world into one centralized downloadable file or at least file resource. Um, so I'll include a link to where you can find that. You can download the game individually out of that or at least files individually out of that or you can download the entire massive uh, archive, which does take, take some time. It's like 30 gigs or something like that. I forget how much. Um, at present... <clears throat> But it's it's worthwhile because there's a lot of games in there, and I've I've contributed anything I've found in my travels in this for this program that uh, Akeley currently lacks in the program in his project. Rather, I've made sure I've passed on to him to to help flesh out the archive. So I I feel like I have some small hand in at least uh, contributing some of those games. So I'll include a link to where you can get the archive RL. That was a short video. We're gonna throw up some other stuff today, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed it. That was Dungeon Monkey Joseph Hewitt 2003. Talk to you later, guys.